Lee County's district attorney says his office has seen a growing number of witness intimidation cases. News 4's Rachel Kingston is here to tell us about a new bill aimed at preventing these cases. Rachel? Well, right now, if you're convicted of intimidating or tampering with a witness, you could be sentenced to up to three to four years in prison. The bill Senator Kennedy is sponsoring would increase your possible jail time to seven years. Erie County's district attorney says this bill is a good start, but it doesn't address the most serious part of the problem. Listen to him explain. Why? Witnesses that do come forward are protected. They're Senator safe. Tim Kennedy wants state lawmakers to pass a bill that would elevate witness intimidation and witness tampering to Class D felonies, punishable by up to seven years in prison. Kennedy is proposing the bill after hearing about several recent cases of witness intimidation, a problem which Erie County's district attorney says seems to be getting worse by the day. It is growing in seriousness. Uh, it is. Uh, it's. It's always been there, but it's been there on an isolated basis. I'm going back. Uh, 25 years of trying cases now. But it seems that in the last two years, it has really, really gotten bad. Anytime that we can uh, increase a penalty for a certain crime, it's going to send a message that it's not right. And we know it's not right, but we need to make sure that the penalty fits the crime. DA Sedita says he welcomes any changes to the law that can help protect witnesses. But he tells News 4 if another bill currently in the Senate passes, Kennedy's proposal will be almost meaningless. What these proposed laws would call for is that the prosecution reveal the names, the phone numbers, and the residential addresses of the witnesses right after the defendant is arrested. Currently, prosecutors don't have to give that information to defense attorneys until just before trial. Defense attorney Terry Connors says that law is behind the times. It's very, very difficult for anyone, experienced lawyer or novice lawyer, to hear the name of a witness called placed on the witness stand, and then to work up a cross-examination without the type of preparation that you need. It's just not fair. It doesn't promote a fair trial, and that's a constitutional right. But Sedita argues releasing that information well before trial will make it easier to scare witnesses out of testifying. When it comes to the prosecution of violent felony cases, I will be out of business because nobody will cooperate. Now, Senator Kennedy says he plans to introduce his bill during this legislative session. D.A. Sedita is hopeful it will pass the Senate, but he tells me he has serious doubts about it passing in the Assembly. Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 6.